So he finally gets them out. The angels finally get them out. But oh, Miss Lot, she was so used to the, we call the Southern Bell Club. So used to all the things that she was doing and relished in. The Bible says she looked back and was turned into a pillow of salt. What would make her look back? Her heart was still there, but God was trying to point them in a different direction. Your treasure is where your heart is. Listen to me carefully. I stayed up a long time last night studying this scripture that's heavy, real heavy, from the Gospel of St. Luke, the 17th chapter, about the 32nd verse. For all of you who like to Google things, Google this. <laughs> Luke, the 17th chapter, verse 32. Anybody got it yet? Man, this is a heavy verse. I had to really study it to figure out what it was saying. And then I concluded, it says something simple. Remember, Lot's oh, Somebody help me. Remember, Lot's wife. Look at where God has brought us. His mercy. His grace. His forgiveness. Don't turn back. I've come too far from where I started from. You've come too far from where you started from. Don't turn back. Don't even look back. The only reason you need to look back is to say, I thank God for setting me free. I thank God for the victory. I thank God for bringing me out. I thank God for bringing me through. I thank God for giving me vision. I thank God for letting me see hope. Don't look back. Move forward. Move forward. By his grace, you will make it. Move forward. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Move forward. I might not be what I want to be, but thanks be to God, I'm not what I used to be. Move forward. I believe, I believe today we have some people in here who know something about moving forward. Temptation comes on every hand, but when you remember who God is to you and what he's done in your life, you take another step of faith and you tell yourself, I won't go back. Amen. I know what's there. Yes, yes. I've been there. When God brings you out of Egypt, Get your stuff. Move forward. Don't take yourself back in bondage. Don't let people influence you to turn back and to go back to what you used to do. But thank God. And say, Lord, I might be coming up on the rough side of the mountain, but I'm still here. I may have to cry sometimes, but I'm still here. I may have to walk alone sometimes with just you, God, when everybody else turned their back on me, but I'm still here. Yes. Do I have a living witness today? Yes. Who am I telling the whole world? I've come too far. I won't turn back. I thank God for who he is. But when I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stayed with him. They can't derive no more. But the master of the sea heard by the spirit cry from the waters, he lifted me. Now safe am I. I can tell the whole world about his amazing grace. Amazing grace. I'll speak the sound that save a wreck like me. I once was lost, but now I'm not. Was blind. But now I see, tell yourself, I will turn.
God of the Almighty God. Pray to God each and every day. Asking God to make your mind like the mind of Jesus Christ. So you can come to a place in your life and say, I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his salvation. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I won't.